the bible in the pastoral epistle says very clearly there is one god and one mediator between god and mankind the man jesus christ who gave his blood as a ransom for every single soul we are going to see the central truth of the entire scripture the word of god which says in first timothy 2:5 i'll read out for there is one god and one mediator who can reconcile god and humanity the man christ jesus to be a mediator one has to qualify himself he has to be god and he has to be man for a mediator to stand between the gap which was created at the inception of mankind between god and man this is actually the gap which has to be filled by one person that mediator who is god man jesus the christ clear the scripture very clearly tells us paul as a preacher apostle and teacher to the gentiles apart from his former state uh, he has put it in the pastoral epistle so that everyone can teach the same truth to the entire congregation and all the souls uh, whoever is coming into this world the one mediator and one god and also it says we are three states we are helpless still without strength in due time christ died for the ungodly the bible says for scarcely a righteous man will die but perhaps a good man someone would even dare to die but here christ died when we were powerless still without strength and when we are still sinners these are the first two states and we have a third state apart from god and apart from christ that much more than having been justified by his blood we shall be saved from the wrath to come when we were enemies we were reconciled to god through the death and the resurrection of jesus christ we will be saved more than that uh, by his life for he is living and seated at the right hand of the father as uh, advocate and he reconcile us to god and the gap is filled in jesus the christ just state here the three stages we are in adam after the fall of mankind we are powerless roman 5 6 we cannot save ourselves apart from christ and our position in adam is sinners and also because of these two we stand as enemies of god so in these three stages see even at the fall the god has placed signature in the light of the scripture powerless sinners and enemies of god so we have been uh, identified with jesus christ when he put on flesh and blood as per uh, hebrew chapter 2:14 and he placed us into christ that is what exactly identifying and he went to the cross and died on the cross personally for me and collectively for the entire mankind that is the truth and having done god's will and forgiven and taking everything away he rose again and that is a great good news for us and the christ jesus has fulfilled everything even the entire old testament stand fulfilled in christ because the old testament is called the law prophet and the psalms from which jesus explained to his disciples and in jesus the uh, the entire old testament the entire old testament was testifying to one person one person was coming out from the law and also from the prophet and from the psalm that is jesus the christ and in his son jesus christ has established a heavenly court that we need to understand even now routinely a, a heavenly court exists for the justification of the entire mankind and every single person every single soul that comes to god in christ we see the triune god father son and the holy spirit and the son he put on flesh and blood and did a brief work on the cross his birth death and uh, resurrection is the brief work which was done when a sinner comes with repentance and penitence and uh, to the lord in christ and the heavenly court justifies him heavenly court and the heavenly court justification is upon him and heavenly uh, his conviction comes in a threefold way hearing the word of god through preaching or direct reading 
or by the conviction of the holy spirit there are threefold conviction which comes as the conviction come the soul has to call upon the lord jesus christ who laid down his life for him heaven hears that my lord jesus save me i am a sinner there is no other way for a helpless enemy of god and a sinner this is the only way paul does not know jesus christ in flesh and blood because he is a glorified lord now and in upon calling him the heavenly court declare him innocent and righteous as if he has not sin so in such a state the sinner the helpless one and the enemies of god enemy of god is being justified not only that he is sealed by the spirit of god and here we see he stand justified and righteous and innocent and also he is sealed by the spirit of god having been sealed by the spirit of god and by the spirit of god he is added to the one church one church is which the ephesians talks about and we can see here for by one spirit we all baptized into one body that is the body of christ church that will be raptured when christ appear in the mid heaven whether we are jews gentiles or free or slaves but made to drink in one spirit so this is the one body of christ that will be raptured when jesus christ come in the mid heaven everyone should belong to christ not whatever you have done on your own has nothing to do it is by the conviction of the holy spirit that we come into him here in we see church is otherwise called a fellowship of love there is no hatred and there is uh, no fighting nothing because it is the love of god that has formed the church in his son by the holy spirit everyone who is within the church has been filled with the love by the holy spirit at the point of justification the spirit of god does that one yeah loveless folks have nothing to do within the church of god neither they they can minister so the body of christ is one wherein christ add through his spirit into the church that's what first corinthian chapter 12 13 which had lot of problems have been explained what exactly the body of christ is acts 247 that the sinner who was justified uh, sealed with the spirit of god anointed and added into the body of christ into the body of christ everyone is sealed and anointed and filled by the holy holy spirit here there is no greek or no jew no circumcised or uncircumcised and barbarian scythian slaves or free but christ is all and is in all and they are constantly being filled and anointed by the spirit of god it is an unseen thing a true christian he is uh, not a slave but a free man in christ he is constantly under the power of the holy spirit colossian 3:11 adile greekan endum yudan endum illa virutha seedanam ullavan endum virutha seedanam illadavan endum illa prajadiyanum pradeshathanum endum adimai endum suyadiyanum illa kristuve ellarilum ellama irukkar let us not put a difference between people those who are coming into that you see the in christ we are helpers we help each other and we are saints you see how we have been transformed from the former three states helpers saints and we become god's family a ruling class in christ we are not saved by gold or silver or by animal blood but it is the christ blood that purchased he has bought us with his own blood and we are his sons and we are his child it is his responsibility to preserve us and to see that we become part in the heavenly resur- resurrections and will be with him forever and he is transforming us to his image for i know this that after my departure savage wolves will come not sparing the flock paul is giving warning to the ephesians elders not to divide and to teach anything else which is inappropriate for the soul that may be dissipated the flock should not be dissipated but rather it has to be united in christ for we are bought at a price therefore glorify god in your body and in your spirit which are god
Paul having given warning to the Ephesian uh, elders uh, in the book of Apostle, he said, You are bought with the price. Do not become bond servants to men. But we are bond servants to God in that we are free in Christ. Give no offense to Jews or to Greeks or to anyone or to the church of God. Just as I try to please everyone in everything I do, not seeking my own, we are not supposed to be selfish within the church, but there are many that we need to serve others. All those who are rightly baptized into Jesus Christ by the Spirit of God belong to Christ, not to anybody else. So that is why it says, there is one God, one mediator between God and man, that is Jesus the Christ. We belong to him alone. So let this truth deeply sink down into your heart and love the Lord Jesus Christ and his appearance who is coming in the mid-heaven. Any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema. That is how the word ends. Paul's salutation in Corinthians, it ends as Maranatha, anathema. Lord Jesus Christ is coming. God's pardoning love is a great gospel mystery. It's a great gospel duty and great gospel benefit. We are saved from the hell. We are placed into heaven in Jesus Christ. Here in this picture we see the triune God, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. Son, he put on flesh for our sake. So trust in him and receive him as your savior. If anyone has any doubt, we can sit and discuss on this and interact. May God bless you. Stay blessed in Jesus the Christ. Let us serve the God of heaven and earth with fear and as wax-free, sincere servants of God. Stay blessed in Jesus the Christ.